Right, YouTube, it's Shadow King King Nazar. Here was a review of Dragon Ball Z Kai episode 121. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, we start off with the aftermath of Vegeta's sacrifice uh, of blowing himself up in order to destroy Majin Buu completely so that Majin Buu wouldn't be able to regenerate. Uh, Piccolo. Uh, and Krillin try to get out, of the, try to get clear of the blast, uh, while carrying Go uh, Goten and uh, Trunks. And uh, elsewhere, um, Yamcha, who's piloting a ship for uh, Master Roshi, Android 18, Chi Chi, Boma, and Videl, uh, are not too far away. And Videl informs him of the situation, and Bama is just confused and grief-struck in that, that Vegeta killed a bunch of people at the World Martial Arts Tournament. And she wants to know why he would do something like that. And Master Roshi feels like, you no, know, the way he looked and his presence, he kind of felt this had the same presence that he had back when he first came to Earth, all evil and heart heartless. And uh, let's see. Then uh, uh, they get caught in the shockwave of Vegeta's uh, final explosion, and they have to uh, repair the ship. Nothing much happened with that. The bad, but I'm sure that something will come up later. But. Uh, the more key important thing is that they're probably going to search for the Dragon Balls uh, to bring the people back to life. And let's see what else? Oh yeah. Uh, then we cut to Piccolo uh, going back to the blast site, and he says that Vegeta's sacrifice was noble and was worthy of the proud Saiyan. And he finds out that Bobby uh, is barely su barely survived uh, Piccolo's attack, and it's just like in a crater, uh, being near close to death. And Piccolo gets ready to finish him off, but he then sees bits of Majin Buu uh, regenerating and re uh, merging together to form the. Uh, original Majin Buu. And uh, and uh, Piccolo decides, uh, knows that it's time to get that out of the way while Majin Buu is still regenerating. And Majin Buu comes over uh, to see that Bobby has been cut in half while Bobby pleads um, Majin Buu to fix him. And though Majin Buu is kind of reluctant to do so because he sees no point to it, but Bobby tells him that if he doesn't, he'll get he'll uh, he'll get sealed up uh, before he uh, dies. And Bobby agrees. I mean, I mean Majin Buu agrees to uh, heal him. And uh, Bobby tells Majin Buu that they're going to find the guys who. Uh, who did all these horrible things to him, which was uh, Piccolo, Goten, and Trunks. So, and they said that they're not going to destroy the planet in it instantaneously like they did. They're going to make it hell on Earth and uh, kill as many lives until they decide to show up so they can kill them. Meanwhile, Piccolo uh, lets Krillin know that Majin Buu is still alive and Vegeta basically died for nothing. Yet somehow people are more pissed off about that than they were with Goku sacrificing himself self to stop Cell from from destroying the planet, yet Cell came back. So basically Goku died for nothing. Hypocrites. Uh, anyway, um, quick little importance about that. And says that with uh, Goku 
of being undead, well, not being undead, being a, merely a spirit that will have to go back to the, after, to the afterlife soon, and Gohan possibly being dead, uh, and also Vegeta being dead, the only people who are, could possibly stand up against Majin Buu now are Gota and Trunks. Our children are the future. <laughs> and uh, they decided to go to uh, Kami's lookout to, uh, to hide them while they can actually come up with a plan of attack. And then the episode ends off with Majin Buu and Bobby causing some destructions in one of the city. So, not, not a lot has happened. But it was more like a aftermath and build up episode, uh, setting up for bigger things to, uh, to happening late to happen later on. Uh, oh, pretty solid chapter. I mean, uh, pretty solid episode. Yeah, sorry. Uh, and I'm uh, really looking forward to where things go, even though we all know uh, where things go because of. We all we're all familiar with Dragon Ball Z and whatnot, but I just want to see how Dita Kai handles things and how accurate it's going to be to the manga. And so far, it's been pretty good, uh, with just a a few things added here and there just for padding, but nothing too that would uh, result in it being filler. So yeah, good episode. And uh, next video, we're going to be talking about the final chapter of Rosario Vampire 2. Stick around for that.